need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here, it's Saturday morning. Is that a PB, Eddie? So that's not just a PB. That's nearly, well, it's two PBs in a week. 22.50 something, and then 22.11 today with the jetpacks. Yeah, can I point out, I think they are banned in sport, so cheating? They're not actually banned in sports, if you do your research. They're banned in certain races, which doesn't extend to the matchroom fight day 5K. I wouldn't know, as you can see. Parsons, your cameraman's got them on. Yeah, cameraman Parsons, yeah, yeah. they know. We help each other out. Eddie, I'm not going to mess about. You know why. I'm here talking to you. Fury, Usyk, signed. Did you know this was happening in the background? Uh, I knew it was being negotiated. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be announced last night. Um, I think it's great for boxing. You know, I know the, a lot of people think of me when that fight's made, weirdly, which is quite, you know, makes me a little bit horny. But I lost, saw a lot of stuff on last night. But it's great for boxing. I hope it happens. Be massive for the sport. Uh, it's the fight Fury should be taking. It's the fight he should have taken previously to now. But if it gets over the line and if it happens, be fantastic. And I think, you know, as I just said in the other interview, it's good for the ecosystem of boxing because the first thing I think about is right. I've got to make Joshua Wilder, and I've got to make Ben Eubank. So it just keeps everything competitive, and it also makes other countries competitive as well to bring big fights there. I do think we've got to just, you know, I don't know, like. It makes me want to make Ben Eubank in the UK a little bit more because I worry that Usyk against Fury in Saudi Arabia, Ben Eubank in Abu Dhabi, Joshua Wilder in Qatar or Las Vegas. It's not great for British boxing, you know what I mean? And, and I understand, obviously, look, we're going where the money is. That's what the fighters want. But hopefully we can bring one of those fights to the UK because otherwise I think there's not going to be the massive fights in the UK that we can bring. The rumoured date was the 23rd of December. I know Frank Warren went on record and said that is not necessarily the case, but could that clash with Ben Eubank? Yeah, I mean, look, December 23rd is our date, proposed date for Ben Eubank. I've made that pretty clear, but if Fury Usyk goes, it's not great news for either fight, and either we would have to step down or they would have to move it. I think they're both huge fights, um, but hopefully they can happen away from each other at different times. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can... No, bring Joshua Wilder or Ben Eubank to the UK. Is Fury Usyk the biggest fight in boxing right now? No. What is then? Fury against AJ. Okay. But it's a massive fight. Like it's, it's, you know, it's not far behind. I only say that because when you've got two global stars, commercial giants fighting each other, like Fury AJ, it's bigger. And Usyk's not the global star. But he's the, under, he's the unified heavyweight world champion. It's a massive fight. First undisputed fight since 1999, is it, Lennox Lewis? Um, so yeah, it's a huge fight and it's up there, look, uh, AJ Fury, AJ Wilder, Fury Usyk, uh, Ben, like they're all mega, mega fights and like I said, it's good to get, if, even getting one of them, I know it's not, you know, we don't even got a date and anything could happen, but it's certainly very positive and I think when the money's there, it shows you the fights will happen, but freak money, like we're seeing for this fight and Joshua Wilder and stuff like that, is comes around once so often but when it does come it's great to see fights happening we know like what, about four or five years ago when you were trying to make Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua for that undisputed heavyweight title you wanted that are you a little bit of envious of Frank Warren Krasuk and Saudi for getting that fight done honestly not in the slightest I'm pleased I'm pleased for boxing I'm pleased for Tyson Fury and I'm, I'm very pleased for Alexander Usyk and I, we need those fights because you know I don't I don't look at it and go Oh, I'm gutted they've made that fire. Look at it and go, great. It's going to make other countries that we're talking to say, me say, come on, you want to be a player? Let's make this fight. So even since the fight was announced last night, we've had two or three conversations with people we're talking to saying, oh, you know, we want to get involved now. So it's great, like I said, for the ecosystem of boxing. And I had no envy at all. My life don't operate like that, honestly. Like maybe when I was 23, 24, but... Um, I think it's the perfect, I've always said it fights that should have happened, it should have happened by now, and hopefully it does happen. Last one, 
Jail Tyre, mm. J- Jordan Thompson tonight. Why should people tune into the zone? It's a great cruiserweight fight. It's a great world title fight. You've got the best cruiserweight in the world fighting an undefeated, dangerous Brit in London on home soil. Other world championship fights on the card. Great card. And then shortly after that, for the zone UK subscribers, Canelo against Charlo. Big double header tonight on the zone. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Eddie, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Cheers. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up at it. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they're guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 